Jenna, I hope you have your seatbelt fastened. Please keep your arms and legs inside at all times because hold on, baby. It's time for our series. Today takes you. We circle the globe and we bring you to a surprise location. Okay, I mean this little wow. plane we're I on is really great. I'm getting a little <laughs> sick, so it's time to come into landing. So far, we've taken you to South Africa, the Philippines. So where are we wheels down today? Let's recap our clues. Okay, here we go. The country's name translates to this, the land of great depths. This country is home to the second largest barrier reef in the world. And then more than 5,000 pirates once lived here, and now divers from all over come to search for shipwrecks. Our flight is coming in for a landing, and we oh. are in Honduras. Honduras. What? We well, were going to, you know what? We were going to guess Australia. Yeah, but, but I love Honduras. And look who's too. here to greet us, Talia Greenfield. Talia is the founder and owner of a boutique hotel called Puerta Azul. Oh, my Talia. God. Talia. Oh, my God. Tell us exactly where we are. Buenos dias, Hoda and Jenna. Thank you so much for letting me join you this morning. We are here on the island of Roatan off the coast of Honduras. And today I'm going to show you what a day looks like in my life. Honduras is a country in Central America nestled between the Caribbean Sea to the north and the Pacific Ocean to the south. It's known for its rich natural resources, including coffee, tropical fruit, and sugar cane. It's also known for the Bay Islands, a group of small islands and coral reefs about 40 miles off the coast. And that's where we're headed today. This is my little piece of paradise, the island of Roatan. Buenos dias, today show. My name is Talia. I came to Roatan six years ago to escape the winters of New York City, and I never left. I start my day cooking and serving breakfast. One of my favorite meals to cook is the baleada one of the most traditional dishes of Honduras. Egg, queso fresco, avocado, and refried beans are placed inside a homemade flour tortilla and served warm with a side of fresh tropical fruit. Enjoy, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, delicious. Something that makes Roatan so unique is its proximity to the reef. One of my guests' favorite things to do is to explore it straight from the hotel dock. The sea life is absolutely incredible a true snorkeler's paradise. The Mesoamerican Barrier Reef is the second largest reef in the world and hosts some of the most diverse marine life. Some of my favorites, blue tang, spotted eagle rays, and hawksbill turtles. And if you want a more adventurous swim, Rotan is home to one of the most exciting and beautiful dives in all of the Caribbean, the famous shark dive. While it may seem a little scary, these Caribbean reef sharks are not dangerous to humans. Let's go check it out. See you down there. The Caribbean reef shark is one of the largest predators in the reef ecosystem and plays an important role in the balance of the food chain. But it is currently listed as near threatened. In 2011, Honduras declared its water a permanent shark sanctuary. Now that I've shown you the beauty of the reef, Let's go explore Roatan on land. We're going to make a quick stop at my favorite cafe. Here they serve two of Honduras's most traditional and tastiest treats, coffee and chocolate. Vamanos. Honduras is a prolific coffee producing country with over 100,000 coffee farmers. Some common tastes include tropical fruits and berries. It's also described as having notes of caramel and chocolate. And speaking of chocolate, chocolate comes from a fruit that is native to Central America, cacao. The Mayan civilization grew and harvested the cacao bean. It wasn't until Christopher Columbus came to Honduras in the 16th century that chocolate was introduced to the rest of the world. Mm. I'm on my way to meet my friend Trudy, who was born and raised here on the island. Ready? Ready. So today we're heading out east to do the mango tour. The best way to explore Roatan is by boat. These canals cut through the dense red species of mangroves that grow naturally in the area. Local folklore has it that these canals were once used by the Paya Indians and English pirates. My name is Audrey and I am the director of the Garifuna Cultural Center and this is our traditional music. 
The Garifuna people settled in Roatan in 1797 and today continue to bring joy to the island with their traditional music and culture. And no day on an island is complete without a beautiful sunset. Thanks so much Hoda and Jenna for letting me show you around. Hope to see you here soon. Talia, you have such an adventurous spirit. I so admire that you were like, you know what? I'm staying. I mean, was that like the best decision you've ever made? Honestly, it was. I'm still pinching myself that I live here. Okay, well, we want to come visit. We want to come. How's the okay. best way to get yeah, there? Tell yeah. us how we get there. Believe it or not, Roatan has its own international airport. Direct flights from Houston and Miami are only two hours away. And you can also take the ferry from the mainland if you'd like. Uh, okay. okay, we'll see you in a couple yes. of days. Okay, <laughs> great. Kalia, so thank, thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. Okay, that was awesome. I loved, loved that. It. All right. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.